We're faced with the greatest challenge humankind has ever faced, and that is having to completely redo the way that we manage energy on the planet. Purdue's chemistry department is helping lead the way, both in research and education. So we want to teach students about how to solve problems, and in the process, they will learn chemistry. We've actually revised the general chemistry curriculum to include energy concepts. Um, as the overarching theme of the entire curriculum. So for the entire two semesters of freshman chemistry, um, all of the ideas that are discussed in general chemistry tie back to energy and fuels. We are working very hard on making hydrogen efficiently um, for, for use in, in a variety of applications. So water splitting is uh, via sunlight. Basically what you're doing is you're taking the sun's energy and using it to break the hydrogen and oxygen bonds. There's a lot of interest in, in hydrogen related research and much of that is done uh, through connecting through the Purdue's Energy Center which is really an excellent focal point and I think if, if we are successful in producing hydrogen cheaply um, then there are going to be ways to convert it into maybe a more useful form. You have, again you have two methodologies, two approaches, one where you can burn hydrogen uh, in internal combustion engines or you can use hydrogen uh, as a energy carrier in fuel cells. So we have a project, uh, this is a supported by Department of Defense, uh, it's called uh, the Dismounted Soldier Program, wherein uh, a, a soldier today in the, in the battlefield carries lithium batteries uh, which is very heavy and we hope to replace these with fuel cells that are lighter. In this project we have developed an economical process for making ammonia borane which will supply the hydrogen needed for the fuel cells. So our group is working on uh, an inexpensive material such as iron oxide which is basically a rust and we uh, try to come up with a way to control their morphologies and architectures at nano and micro level scale. And our group works very closely with uh, many um, scientists and researchers all over the world. So basically this is a collection of people who have the same passion and uh, goal of uh, solving the energy problem utilizing solar energy. So here at Purdue, for example, my research group is involved with uh, research groups in chemical engineering and we're working on understanding how catalysts work. Our next step is once we establish these necessary scientific benchmark is to apply this catalyst design to the conversion of biomass, breaking up the lignin to be able to get to the sugar components that you could transform into liquid fuels. But beyond the field of energy, this is important also in designing catalysts for making medicines, designing catalysts for making polymers, and the list goes on and on.